Hey guys and welcome back. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a first impressions with you guys today. Some new goodies that came along my desk. So if you want to see how I did this look today, um, keep watching. So I'm starting off with the Benefit Foundation. This is the latest one that they've launched. It is a super, super cute little bottle. Um, cute little smiley face so it's soft blur foundation and it is a sheer to medium coverage liquid foundation You've got a shake to wake it's got a little um, bead or something inside to to mix it up nicely and I'm gonna just put some of that on for you Those of you that know me know that I am not a huge fan of heavy coverage. Um, I'm just using a damp beauty blender to apply a very light layer of this foundation. It feels really good. Um, it seems to be quite, yeah, like quite smooth. I think I could have maybe gone for a shade deeper, but when I looked at the shade deeper, it looked like it might be too dark. So this is shade number one. Um, but you can definitely see a little bit deeper here and um, it smoothed out, but kind of will even out when we, when we bronze and so on. Okay, so it's pretty even coverage. I'd say that it kind of has a more sheer to medium coverage, but it looks really smooth and um, feels really comfortable and light, which I absolutely love in a foundation. I don't feel the need for a lot of concealer, but just a little bit. I don't have anything new on my desk at the moment, but this is my go-to, this Bobbi Brown Illuminating Under Eye um, Tinted Eye Brightener. So I'm going to just use a little bit of that. So next up is a... I know it's not a new product to the market, but it's fairly new in South Africa um, and it's definitely something that is a kit favorite. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on for you. It's Aven and it is the Othermal Thermal Spring Water. They make a really great skincare range. I'm currently um, just got hold of the lip, cold cream lip balm and this which I'm very keen to try. This is a very high, uh, hydrating thermal water uh, serum so keen to give these guys a bash um, but I think I'm gonna do a skincare video that just focuses around that because as you guys may know that's a big big focus for me and big thing that I'm passionate about so I believe when you're misting you should get quite a bit on there I always say stop just before you've drowned, but get a good layer of that on there. Kind of just pushes all layers of makeup together. If it's too much, you can go in with your beauty blender and just sort of pat that out. And that also helps sheer out foundation even more. Rogue glitter, kind of the story of my life, I guess. So just back to talking about the Aven, uh, it says here on this little piece of paper that I've managed to crumple up quite badly that it's brilliant to complete makeup removal, after hair removal, razor burn, diaper rash, facial redness, itching, after a surgical procedure, damaged skin, exercise during travel, and sunburn. So it's pretty much good for everything, which is quite amazing. I uh, enjoy a good multifunctional product. So I've also had a few people that have asked me questions uh, that are not makeup artists that want to know what are some more affordable products that they can use at home uh, to achieve you know, their daily makeup looks as opposed to something that I would use in my kit. So I just got my hands on this, which I thought was quite cute. It is the um, Create and Transform palette. It's by Essence Cosmetics. Um, and this bad boy retails for 175 Rand. Uh, you can see it has a, quite a few different kind of bronzing contour powders, blushes, um, and some highlights. There's some transformers down there, and even a balmy, creamy highlight. So I'm going to be using a couple of these today. It's the first time, so let's give it a bash. So I'm going to start out with a blusher. I'm quite liking that peachy shade and maybe that pinky shade. Let's see. Maybe that's a bit um, intense for me. Let's try this one. <laughs> So 
it has good color payoff. It's blending quite nicely as well. Uh, I've chosen the lighter shade, so just kind of popping a little bit of that on there. Nice, nice. What do you guys think? Let's try the peachy one on the other side. Okay, so that peachy one is quite intense. Well, um, we're going to need to soften that out a little bit. But I suppose that's really good because you can get kind of an intense color payoff if you want. Um, and obviously on deeper skin tones, this would be incredible. Great opportunity to show you my favorite tip if you are having a bit of a blusher situation. Just take your beauty blender with your foundation on it and go over that and you'll end up with something a lot more soft and wearable. Nice. Next up I'm going to try um, the bronzers, some of these shades up here. Um, let's go for the sort of light medium tone. I'm using the same brush I've just kind of dusted off the excess. That's really good. Wow, that's actually really impressive. Uh, it's going on really, really smoothly. Uh, the color is really good. It's uh, not too orangey for my skin tone, but it's not too gray and ashy either. It really warms up beautifully. Um, and blends quite easily. So at this point I'd say the only thing that's a little challenging about this palette is obviously the size of the pans are kind of the standard eyeshadow size which means that I'm going back and dipping quite a few times but it does also mean that I've got a lot that I can carry with me for on the go or, or traveling and that kind of thing. is really subtle I am enjoying that um, good texture it's been easy to blend and it goes on really quite beautifully actually so I think that's pretty much a winner good call okay so next up we're gonna talk about highlighters I've had quite a few come along so I'm sure you've seen these bad boys by Mac uh, I chose just three of the shades because I've got the Tan de Chanel or Soleil de Chanel actually uh, and I feel like that's quite similar to the to the fourth shade of these so I'm going to just try these. I think that I'm going to be trying, I think that the bronze is probably a little deep for my skin tone. I'm going to try out the gold today and I'm just going to do that on one side and then I've got something else to show you on the other side. Wow, that is very, very shiny. It's quite exquisite, really. Let's see how it blends. So for those of you that don't know, these are the Hyperreal uh, highlights. They were originally launched uh, Hyperreal FX ages ago. I can't even, I think it was even before I started at MAC and that's more than a decade ago. Uh, and then they were discontinued. I think they were definitely a little bit ahead of their time. As you guys will have noticed, liquid highlighters are a thing at the moment. So, yeah, these have made a little bit of a comeback. I'm not 100% sure that the formula is exactly the same. But I think, you know, ingredients, availability, that kind of thing definitely does change in a, a decade plus. So, wow, that is really pretty. Okay, next up, these bad boys just landed on my desk. I love a little bit of holographic. Uh, so these are actually launching in a couple of days. These are launching on the 1st of September. And they are absolutely, like, 
really hyped launch for this um, for this brand this is by chrome cosmetics so they're a new brand local and i'm very keen to kind of give these a bash so i've chosen a shade called chrome and chrome is one of my favorite kind of formulations of well when it comes to colors and so on it's a it's a little bit of a hollow pinky kind of color so i'm going to just give that a little bash on this side so you guys can see what it looks like okay so i'm actually really loving this they have sort of like it's a little bit of a kind of creamy emollient texture which i really enjoy in a highlighter because it kind of has a bit more of a durability uh, this one feels like it's not going to dry out and and feel powdery where now that this has dried down it has a little bit more of a powdery finish so you can also see this one's a little bit more on the intense or blinding <laughs> finish um, but yeah this is amazing it's a little more subtle and sheer definitely holographic and I am loving that it also says that you can use these ones um, as lip toppers and as a metallic eyeshadow so I'm gonna do just that I'm gonna pop a little bit on my lips and see how it feels <laughs> That is super pretty, quite subtle, uh, which is nice. Um, yeah, I would definitely use that. Oh, I've got it all over. I would definitely use that. It feels really comfortable too. Um, some of these liquid products that are not necessarily designed for the lips, even some that are, tend to get a little bit dry, a little bit heavy on the lip. This feels really, really comfortable. And this is, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be rocking these into the summer season for sure. Okay, so next up I have this bad boy. Slays for days. Uh, this is also a new release by Switch Beauty. This has been highly anticipated. It's really, really gorgeous um, eyeshadow palette. Uh, the eyeshadows have all been named after South African women, so that's also really exciting. It's amazing to see local brands doing such great things. So I'm going to be trying out, as you can see, there's a bajillion shades, which is also great for Kit. But I'm going to be trying out a couple that really appeal to me, and yeah, just let's see how it goes. So let's start with this bad boy it's kind of an ochre tone um, and it's called Gabby it's definitely right up my alley I'm gonna give that a little bash in, in the crease and then we'll try a couple of other shades okay so I have nothing on my eyelids um, besides from maybe a little bit of concealer and foundation that blended onto that area you can see the color intensity, the strength of the pigment in this eyeshadow, which is very, very impressive. The entire palette retails for 350, which is also incredibly, incredibly well priced. So that blends really easily and just gives a, a beautiful color payoff. Well done, Switch. <laughs> So next up, I'm going to be using a shade. Oh, where are we? There we go. Called Amy. Um, my sister's name is Amy, so I thought that would be quite cute. I'm going to be using a little bit of that. Next 
I'm going to add a little bit of Cara. Uh, this has got a pinky tinge to it, so that looks like fun. <laughs> a little bit of that so that is incredible i have to say that i'm super super impressed with the purity of the color the pigment um the blendability all of those things that as a professional makeup artist i'm always looking for in products uh, and to find all of that in something that is so affordable is really amazing. Very, very impressive. So well done, Team Switch. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of one of the uh, other matte brownie shades for my brows. Um, and then we'll finish up with the new liquid liner as well. <laughs> up we have the switch beauty liquid luck this is a liquid liner in a brush formula which i love so look at that really fine tip um, I'm going to be popping a little bit of that on. So I'm not as young as I used to be and I can't just swing a liner. Uh, these lids are a little folded. So I'm going to get kind of close up so you guys can see. I need to stretch it out a little. off this look I'm going to add a little bit of a lip balm tinted lip balm and this is the Tony Moly Petty Bunny look at his little face so cute <laughs> 